Ok, let's see how to create this new API message extension. Using the latest version of the Teams Toolkit, create a new app. Then you will have the classical four options, but tabs, message extension, or Outlook add-in, and let's create a message extension in our case. Using the message extension, you then have three various uh, options. The custom search result for search um, message extension, an action-based message extension, or link unfurling. We're going to, for, to create a search message extension, and this is where we will see uh, two new choices to create API message extension. So start from a new API. If you have no API at all, you'd like to try uh, to create one from scratch using Azure function. In this case, we will do everything for, for you. Or if you have an existing API, you can start from an open uh, API description document. Of course, you can still use the previous way to create message extension using the bot framework. So let's start from scratch. Let's use JavaScript. Let's use a default folder and call it test from scratch API ME. So we're going to scaffold everything for you. And let's press F5 to see the experience and we will uh, dig into the code after that. So pressing F5, um, what the Teams Toolkit is going to do is to create a, a VS Dev Tunnel, which is a way to expose a public endpoint that is going to be mapped to your local uh, host, because of course your API needs to be visible uh, by team. And you see that uh, in less than uh, two minutes when we started from scratch, I should be able to have a working experience. So it's being deployed in my uh, developer tenant in Teams. Um, so now I should be able to play with it soon. Here it is. And now I can uh, call uh, in a specific chat, um, you know, uh, my uh, team, my message extension. So for instance, let's uh, load it from there, you see. And I know that uh, this is a repair service. So I'm looking for a specific uh, repair uh, uh, task uh, assigned to uh, Karin, and you see that we have uh, the preview uh, adaptive card, and let's, for instance, uh, use this specific one, um, and then I can have this, uh, you know, adaptive card being answered. So I'm talking with the developer portal, but we, who is not uh, ready to understand what I'm talking about, but you see that this is working uh, perfectly fine, and I can even set a breakpoint in the code to debug what's going on. Now let's dig into the code to understand how it works. So first, the repair API is very simple. Um, it's uh, an API that's going to check that you uh, are looking for a specific, um, you know, uh, assign a task. Then it's going to do a, a, a filter, uh, a simple filter, looking at your data defined there. So this is pretty simple JSON data with the name, you know, of the of the person in charge of the of the repair, and then links to images to really show what we are talking about with some description. Uh, then it's also using uh, Azure Function in this case, but you could use any type of uh, hosting me mechanism for your APIs. That's why we have uh, this little part. The new part about um, API uh, message extension will be found inside the Teams manifest. Uh, so you see that you, you have this Compose extension that now got a new type name, uh, API based. And then you need to provide basically two uh, important stuff. First is the YAML definition file, which is available just there. Um, um, that's going to explain what your API is doing. In my case, I've got a get operation, and I'm going to the, describe a little bit uh, what it, how it should be called, how it works. You can also see that we have this dynamic URL that's going to be replaced by the Teams Toolkit when you would press F5 to, to put the VSDev tunnel URL there. Um, and this is pretty much it. So we are scaffolding that for you when uh, you start from scratch. And also you have... Um, the adaptive card you that you've seen was uh, being used uh, uh, in Teams. Um, that is going. That is, we got a very uh, nice uh, extension now to let you uh, create and debug it. So, if you like, for instance, uh, to inject fake data, mocking data, you can define it there. So you see that I've got only one specific data being defined there. And then clicking on this button, preview adaptive card, you see that it's going to load the adaptive card definition. 
and load the fake data you've got defined there to be able to, to check how it would look like in Teams in the light theme or the dark theme. So pretty convenient. Um, in less than two minutes, you have a working message extension now uh, in Teams and Outlook uh, using just an API.